What's up y'all, it's your girl Steph G and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna talk all about steam process hair. Yeah, I get this question a lot and it could be a little confusing on whether or not what's virgin hair, raw hair, steam process hair, and if it's even good quality. So I figured why not go ahead, create a video, share with you guys essentially what steam process hair is, what goes into the process, and then what's the difference between virgin hair, raw hair, and steam process hair. So if you've been confused or just been wondering and need some more information, then you definitely want to go ahead and keep on watching. Alright so if you guys are new to my channel, I'm your girl Steph G and I'm all about sharing business tips and I also do some lifestyle and entrepreneurship vlogs from time to time so if this is something that interests you, definitely want to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join the crew because we would love to have you. Alright y'all so I got my notes, if you guys see me looking down it's because I want to make sure I never forget anything and I give you guys all the good information. So let's talk about essentially what steam processed hair is. Um, I know that it could be confusing but it's really essentially just how it sounds, literally, steam processed hair. Now, majority of the countries that source hair, like India, Cambodia, uh, Vietnamese, and China now, is actually creating this type of texture by using this type of process. Um, but just because it comes from India, that doesn't mean that it's not raw hair. They just have different types of hair that they provide. Some of it is steam processed, and some of it is just raw hair in its natural state. And we'll talk about more in depth uh, exactly on what the difference is. Um, but yeah, so it is literally just a process. All the hair used is human hair, unless it's synthetic hair, but anything that's processed or ghost store process is essentially human hair. If you guys do not know, China sources majority of the hair from India. A lot of people are not sure about that. Now they do have their own grade of hair, but they do source majority of their hair um, from India. There are tons of Chinese markets that they open up where they are bringing hair or other people are going out and sourcing the hair from these countries and bringing it back, they create a Chinese market and then people come. I mean, but there's many different ways on how they process, on how they source their hair, but just if you didn't know. But yeah, so essentially it's all human hair, it just goes through a process. So steam process means that it just goes through a process, which what they do is use water to create steam um, and they use metal rods, different sizes. It just depends on what kind of curl they're going for. If they're going for a tighter curl, a looser curl, they'll individually wrap the hair into these rods they'll put it into a steam machine which will, them adding water will create the steam creating vapor um, and then the temperature varies they do put it at a high temperature if they want like a tighter curl or a low temperature if they want a looser curl and things like that it does have to be in a steam machine for for some time i think for hours or so um, so it just kind of depends on how tight they want the curl and how loose they want the curl is how long it'll stay and how small or how big of a rod they need to use. All right, so that's really all it is, okay? Now, is this a permanent thing? No, because they, they do not use chemicals like virgin hair, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but they don't use chemicals, okay? It is literally just water creating steam to be able to sit this in for a very long time so that it alters the curl pattern and makes it, you know, um, wavy or curly. So it'll last for a little while, but if you're constantly straightening your hair or doing some certain things to it to alter what was already made, then eventually it's going to loosen up and it'll no longer be the way you had it. Now, after you wash it, you'll notice that the curls will loosen up because once again, there are no chemicals, no perm, no dye that they use in this process. So it won't last forever for the most part okay it is just so that you can create something or or how they market their hair to be able to kind of give you more of a versatility more like hey this is a deeper curl this is a what do they call it like a spiral curl this is a water wave this is an ocean wave those are the things that they create so that they can just kind of give you more of an option to choose from all right so Let's talk about what the difference is. Uh, oh, before we talk about the differences, do I believe that steam process hair is still good quality hair? Yes, I do. I've come across a lot of vendors that um, do offer steam process hair. You do want to make sure you ask about that. A lot of people, I think, are not aware. They just kind of go to a vendor. I know I hear a lot of people just go to 
to vendors like in India and they'll just be like, hey, can I have your hair? You definitely want to make sure you clarify and do your research, look into it. If most of the vendors may have a website, so you may want to go on there and look and it'll show you like India will show, it'll show you on there. If you're sourcing your hair from India, it'll show this is steam process and this is raw, natural, nothing altered in its natural state. All right. So, yeah, so I do think that there is a lot of good steam process here. It's just kind of what you're looking for, what you're trying to sell or what you're trying to wear if you're not trying to sell anything um, and test it out. I always tell everybody, test your hair out. It's good that you watch YouTube videos, but you should always test your hair because you never know. You might like something someone else doesn't like. Someone else might like something that you don't like. All right. So let's talk about what the difference is between steam process hair and virgin hair. Um, if you guys are not familiar with virgin process hair that is a process where they use chemicals some type of silicone some type of what is it um acid they do do acid baths where they kind of dip it in there to create it actually deteriorates the cuticles and it alters the hair so that they can create their own pattern um so that's pretty much what happens and that's the difference is that virgin hair they use silicone acid baths which are harsh chemicals to create the textures that they're looking for with the, the hair that they've sourced from these other countries or their own. And then they make their own pattern like body wave, deep wave, ocean wave, and all that other stuff. Now this does kind of um, alter the pattern and it does re allow you to, what is it? It's more so permanent than steam process hair. Okay, because the chemicals is what alters the pattern. It's like when you perm your hair, you know, you perm it straight. It may not last forever, but it does last for a very long time. You do have to consistently do it. But essentially, that's what they do with virgin hair is that they use those type of acid baths and things like that, those chemicals to be able to create that. And it'll last a lot longer than steam process hair. So that is the difference is that it's chemicals used and steam process hair does not use chemicals. All right, when it comes to raw hair, we all know. Raw hair, if you did not know, is hair that is in its natural state. It is literally cut from the donor, washed and conditioned with shampoo and conditioner, and that is it, and air dried. There is nothing else that they do to the hair. They don't steam process it, steam, sorry, steam process it into no steam machine and they don't use any chemicals or any acid baths to alter the hair when it's raw hair that doesn't mean that india does not have steam processed hair though just keep that in mind they do do have that type of service they do provide that you just have to make sure that when you're looking at it most of the majority of the time they kind of know what you're asking for if you're telling them you want raw curly hair um, but sometimes they do offer the steam processed hair as well so once again raw hair requires nothing literally nothing it's in its natural state it is the way it came off the donor cut wefted washed and conditioned and that is it so now you guys kind of know the difference between virgin processed hair steam processed hair and just raw hair that has not been altered in any way shape or form all right guys so that is pretty much it i hope this helps oh and before i forget i did want to mention that china is now thinking about switching over to steam processed hair i'm not sure and i this, and this is just me going off of some of the research that i did um out there on youtube and watching vendors showing you guys the steam process that they go through to be able to create the pattern that they're doing whatever pattern it is but a lot of them are saying that they're doing this change is because the chemicals is what causes the smell in the bundles if you guys know that i created a video if you haven't watched it definitely watch it on how to get rid of the smell when you're getting hair from a lot of these vendors that are sourcing it from china they have a very bad odor like corn chip smell you know we all call it different types of smells feet all that type of stuff but typically it's because of the chemicals that's what's creating the smell and the odor in the hair so they're thinking about well not that they're thinking about it a lot of vendors are switching over to steam process hair which it less harsh on the hair and it also doesn't create that smell okay when you're steam processing there's no chemicals once again it is just water creating steam and the metal rods to create the pattern so yeah so i've noticed that that they're doing that a lot more than they are doing the acid baths because nobody want to have smelly hair okay nobody and that really determines whether or not somebody wants to continue to buy the hair because the smell 
it can last for a very long time. And if you guys are, are struggling with the smell, I've created a video on the products you want to get, what you need to do to go ahead and get rid of that smell. I promise you it works. A lot of people have told me they tried it and it worked. Okay, so definitely go ahead and try it out. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you guys have a better understanding of what steam process here is, raw hair and virgin process hair. But if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to go ahead and answer those. I do have a list of videos, but if you have any suggestions on videos, definitely go ahead, drop it in the comments. I'll add it to the list. Videos are coming. Hopefully at one video a week is what my goal is. So we'll do the best to make sure I can get these videos because I know you guys have a lot of questions. I know some of you are starting hair businesses are confused and I know you guys ask me. Um, I do get I do see the emails and the comments and I do apologize. It gets a little busy and hectic um, and it's kind of hard for me to answer all the questions. So if I haven't gotten back to you, I do apologize. I'm going to work on doing better with kind of scheduling uh, some time so i can answer some questions or just answer some emails i do not do any consulting at the very moment because like i am still working on building my hair company and i want to be able to have good information good strategies you know just all of that to be able to help someone else create their business but i have a lot of things in store this year so i hope you guys stick around because trust me it's gonna be worth it i got y'all i'm gonna definitely try to bust out more videos just to share more things about how to run a hair business what you need um refresh you know the vendor video refresh the how to start your business this year all that good stuff so definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss out on a video i will see you guys next time bye